Hello there. Welcome back to another video. Hope everybody has been having a good week and an even better weekend. It is very cold where I live. I think right now it's like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's negative 6 right now. It was negative 15 last night. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cold. I have work in a few hours. So I'm just recording a quick video for you guys. Before I start getting ready to work, I thought I would just record it and leave it encoding and uploading while I got ready for work. So, last time we figured out how to trade items. We somehow figured it out, I guess. Oh, we caught a bird. A live blue jay. Hmm. So then he's going to get transferred over. Where is he getting taken? Let's follow this guy. He is just going to put him there. All right. Can I set him free? What is he destroying? What is he doing here? Uh huh. He moved the trap over. Uh, interesting. Alright, so... Let me go to... Where the... Thing is, for my animals... The pasture, the pen, or whatever... And... What animals can we keep here? Ah, um, a live bush tit. What the heck is a bush tit? A bird? Hmm. I didn't want birds. I wanted to capture the yaks. So that way we can have milk and fur or whatever. So now that I have some animals captured, how exactly oh okay tame at the vermin catchers shop wait a minute general overall training hmm 
Jack's domesticated. So, train at the vermin catcher's shop. What exactly is a vermin catcher's shop? Catcher's shop. I'm gonna look this up. Uh, it's an it's a building. Yeah. It, uh, I was wondering if it was a building or a zone. But it's a it's a building. And you can just uh put it down somewhere. Where can I milk make that? Um, let's see. I want to find a good spot for it. If I build stuff right here in the middle. Um, oh, these are for small creatures. So then, what do I need for a yak? Hold on, let's see here. Let's see here. Vermin catcher's shop. Oh man, it's pretty big. Alright, this seems like a good spot for it. Unfortunately, my people are refusing to mine for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Hmm. Let's turn to Google. Okay, so it turns out, according to this, that you can't assign dwarves to woodcutting and to mining. So, let's remove Besmar, Udib, Thycook. Besmar, Udib, Thycook. And get him out of there. All right, so now they're no longer woodcutters. Are they going to start mining? Yes, they are. Ah. That is interesting. The Good Crabs, is that really his name? Wishes to reside in brain oil for the purpose of entertaining citizens and visitors. Do you approve this request? The more the merrier, I say. Where are my... What the heck is that? Oh, his, his strange mood. Oh.
Oh no, he's a kid. Damn. Oh, it's an elf. We got some elves dwelling in our fortress now. It's all good. Steel pick. Iron pick. Um, do they have different stats? This is an iron pick. It is encircled with hand with bands of cow bone. On the item is a well designed image of somebody. The dwarf and dwarves in light yellow diamond. The, this person is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of a dwarf to the position of king of the long trumpets in one. That's beautiful. I have a feeling I'm going to have to expand. Wait, why are there books here? This is only for Food. Who's, who's dropping books all over the place? I'm confused. Oh, I, I actually did that perfectly. Alright. We also need another area. child, the child. And then we assign a zone. Too many barns. What is this? A leopard man. Let's read a little bit about him. He wants to help somebody practice his skill, make a romance, pray to Zapov. Maybe I give up too early sometimes. I feel that. What is what is what are his skills? He dabbles in a lot of things. Maybe he's not really good at one thing because he gives up too easily. He's just good at a lot of things. Well, he's just kind of good. Let's see what other skills he has. Well, he's really good at being a musician. He's a legendary musician. Let's see. This is his knowledge. Wicked Faith. Wicked Faith is a poem authored by Elatha Efivakana. It is an example of the lavender petal. 
The work has no particular subject. The writing is organized and it contains some asides related to the author's preferences. Overall, the poetry is masterful. The lavender petal is a slight poetic form, originating in the foggy mountain. The rules of the form are applied by poets to produce individual poems which can be recited. The poem is a single tercet. Use of metaphor is characteristic of the form. Forms, forms of parallelism are common throughout the Moharm in that certain lines are required to maintain phrasing and they have similar grammatical structure. The first line is intended to describe the past. It has five feet with an accent pattern of stressed on stressed qualitative trochaic pentameter. The second line is intended to offer a different perspective concerning current events. It has five feet with an accent pattern of stressed unstressed qualitative trochaic pentameter. The third line is intended to reflect on previous ideas concerning the future. It has four feet with an accent pattern of stressed, unstressed, qualitative, trachaic, tetrameter. Let's look at his personality. He has an amazing spatial sense, very good creativity and a good feel for social relationships. He doesn't stick with things if even minor difficulties arise. He dislikes abstract discussions and would much rather focus on practical examples. He does not have a great aesthetic. <clears throat> aesthetic sensitivity. He has a calm demeanor. He finds helping others emotionally rewarding. He often feels lustful. He is slow to trust others. He is slow to anger. He has little interest in joking around. He prefers to present himself modestly. He tends to hang on to grievances about things. Wait, no. He tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things. He doesn't seek out excitement. He is currently more rude. He is currently more fearless. He is currently more confident. He is currently more shameless. He is currently less private. He is currently more thoughtless. Hmm. Interesting. Let's stay a while and wait for them to bury the child. Why is he doing this? He is flashing. Oh, it's winter now. Are they not going to bury this guy? Wait. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. That's why. Alright, now they should... Come bury him. Yep. Rest in peace. 
Wait, what? Oh, wow. His head came off. 59 people in the fortress. We definitely need to make more living spaces. For people. I guess we will expand as far as we can go. Oh, that's as far as we can go. <laughs> Alright. Um. Yeah, let's just... Make a bunch of rooms... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. All right. Make more rooms for everybody. More people want to join. All right. That's a lot of bards. Wait, what? The cult of jades has many worshippers and braid oil and now requires a temple and priest. The location must be built and furnished with the new position appointed by you. Um, which one is the Temple of Jade? I don't think there is one. Alright, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of worshipping going on. A snowstorm has come. Let's listen to the snow. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I 
I think this is the first snowstorm. that we have gotten. Wow, look at all these people. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Friendly goblin poets. I hope they're friendly. I sure as hell hope they're friendly. Look at how lively the tavern is. Wait, there's snow falling through. Oh, yikes. Fellas, we gotta clean this up. Um... Okay, so anywhere that you see patches, well, almost anywhere, if we got snow here, we got an empty space here. Come on, keep building. Ooh, that wind is hell. Cold. Just listening to the wind makes me feel cold. Let me see. It's still not finished. And tame a catch life land enemy. Hmm. How does this work? Creatures. Tamed at <laughs> um Okay, I guess someone's working on it. Organize this stuff. Wait, who's bleeding? Who's blood? Oh. Sir, what are you doing out here? gonna die. Oh. Hmm. 
available as a pet. Stray horse. Are we running out of drinks? Uh, it looks like we are. We are running out of drinks. Let's increase the quantity. Let's brew 50, maybe. What are the conditions? If they're less than a if they're less than a hundred, how's how about that? How about that? All right now. Let me continue building doors. We have a lot of room to make. Freeloaders were cracking down. Cracking down. Now we build beds. Do you rotate? Can you rotate? Doesn't look like it. We have no bounce. What's bro doing? Oh, he fell asleep. Alright, how many beds do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 24, 24 beds, probably more than that though, change the quantity, let's just make, um, Yeah, 24, 32, 32, 40, 40 beds. I thought they were trained already. I 
I thought the bush tits were trained already. Why are they still in the cages? How do I get them out? Cold of Jade, the Abbey of Pearls, and then we need to assign Oh, uh, how exactly do you assign a priest? Do we have any altars? No. Oh, someone's in a weird mood. Bismar. Ah. Uh. I'm doing all right. As the aspect of one fay. Uh. What's going on? What you doing, buddy? No idea what's going on here. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at all these guys. Just chilling. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? What, what, what? what? Why is there... I'm so confused right now. Hold on. Why is there only a handful of people that I can assign work orders to? I'm a little bit confused. Esmar, what do you require? He doesn't... 
He's not saying. All right. Don't go crazy on me. Oh. This morning is basic. Basic. It's begun a mysterious construction. As Marnish Bisak for a farmer has created Zursu Laidel, Rhylite Millstone. He offers it to the server of flesh. Who is the server of flesh? Oh no, we have no drink. Oh no. Oh no. That is not great. All right, guys, I have to get going to work soon. So I will stop the video here. Hopefully you guys had a relaxing time and enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.